I entered my first archery competition, but nearly got disqualified. My name's Sage, and this is my archery journey. Pew! Welcome ladies and gentlemen, so I'm driving to my first inter-club archery session Sunday morning and I'm not gonna lie, this was a very very last minute email came through, end of the indoor season apparently and I don't have a foggiest of what I'm gonna do there, well hopefully archery but I have no idea but I thought Put your name down, get uncomfortable, I learn, I learn in the thick of it basically. I've only really been art, doing archery like consistently for the last three weeks shall we say. And yeah, I don't really know how to score points. I haven't really used my equipment properly in, in like an archery competition format apparently it is informal I did ask if it was going to be like new new beginners there and if it's okay for me to go and they said yes so if they said yes and everything goes wrong I don't care well I know I do care I just want to see how good or bad I am But if it is bad, if it is bad, then we can only go up from there, I suppose. And if it is good, hopefully we can stay there. Like I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit anxious, shall we say? Well, no, no, not anxious. No, I don't know. Sun shining, so the day's good already. So I don't, I don't really mind. You can see, you can see the sun shining on my face. Oh, look at that glow up. But. Yeah, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. I don't know how good, I don't know how bad. I've never been in a informal, formal club competition. I don't really know the setup. I don't know what's going to go on there. I don't know. What, I don't really have any expectations of the session, of my ability. But I will report back after the session and then in the rest of the video. Wish me luck, guys. Wish me luck. Two hours later. So, just finished my first inter-club kind of archery competition session, official point scoring session, and my days, horrible, horrible, horrible. Anything that could have gone wrong, went wrong. Arrows flying onto the target next door to me, um, Arrows, <laughs> arrows flying underneath the target, arrows flying over the target, scoring wrong, and then I committed a cardinal sin in archery. I touched the arrows while they were still in the target. By mistake, by mistake, and apparently that's a disqualification thing if you touch someone else's stuff. And I was like, oh, I'm sorry. But I actually was sorry because I was like, didn't have a clue what I was doing. But the guys next to me, they knew it was my first time, said it's fine, it's cool. I didn't touch their one, I touched my own one. So it's okay, it's okay. And following on from that as well, my bow where I put the arrow on the arrow rest, that also broke. So the last five shots, I shouldn't have done it, but I did do it. I shot without the arrow rest and well yeah overall not great but silver lining to all of this was I did get one out of 60 shots one bullseye one in the target in the gold 10 points so that's what I'm going to take from today actually that's what I'm going to take from today one ten It can only go up from here guys. It can only go up from here. There was my little daily vlog from the day. As I mentioned, 
this was a last minute thing. I received an email the week previous to the competition, end of indoor club competition, and anybody was welcome. This is why I did ask, at the beginner, can I go? They said yes. So whilst I was a bit nervous the day, it was still a case of, Saj, chuck yourself in the deep end and understand what the day's about. You're not expecting anything, just go and get the experience. Now, just before the day started, I was that close to sacking it off because I was like, nah, I don't want to embarrass myself. But I went in the end and you know what? I learned a lot, I learned a lot. In terms of the setup, so it was at school and like I say, this is the problem with archery. It's one of these competitions that doesn't have a lot of funding and you have to use public fields or public places. This was at a school. School was massive. This day started with, I had no idea where this hall was because there was like five different halls and there was church going on in one hall. Then there was um, drama club going in the other, something else in another, and then archery in the other. First time I've been to this school. So it took me around about 20 minutes to find this place. Got in, had to change my shoes. School rule apparently. And then the way it was all set out, it was local archers and the club archers and you had all the bosses. This is where the target are stuck on. And then it was 20 yards. For each boss or each target, there was two people, A and B. So I was with another gentleman and we just interchanged each round. A round is a set of 12 arrows. So a dozen arrows is a round. And I believe, correct me if I'm wrong here in the comments, an end is every free on a Portsmouth. So you shoot free, you go and pick up your arrows, you shoot another free, that's the end. And then you go for another six more after that. So two ends, I believe it is. So as I mentioned, you have your A and your B on one target. But on these bosses, because it's indoors, there's two targets to a boss. So it's basically the boss is the back bit where you stick the targets on. So ultimately, there's gonna be two people firing at one boss at any one time. So going over to shooting my first arrow, so all the A's would line up at the 20 yard line and it gets quite cozy. You can literally hear people breathing, on, breathing around you. That's how close you do get. And it has to be quite quiet as well. So the etiquette's there a bit like golf, I would say the crowd or the people around you have to be quiet so you can concentrate. Now this being my first time, when I did get there, I signed in and the, the club organizer did put me in with somebody more experienced and basically said to him, take side under your wing, explain the ropes, um, point scoring, etc." So I generally instantly felt quite comfortable there. And I said to the guy I was with, hands up, I know nothing. You're gonna have to literally baby me here. And he was simply like, yeah, no worries. So once you've shot your arrows, you need to go down and pick them up. So at this point, this is when you go down with your partner, your A and the B go down together and you score each other's arrows because there is no cheating that way. And then this is where I went wrong. Cardinal sin in archery. Never touch your arrows until your points are down and you both agree on your points. So why I touched the arrow, it was my own arrow and where the arrows had hit, I wasn't sure of how it was sitting, whether it was on the line or not. But apparently you can't touch the arrow because what will happen is if you were to shimmy a little bit, you could score the other way or go to the heart. You could slowly push it towards the other way. Also cheating. And this was a nice thing. So when I did touch the arrow, the gentleman next to me did say, Saj, you can't touch your arrows because that would be a potential disqualification or it would be a loss of points of that round. And to be fair, he said it really politely. He said not to pick faults, but I know you are learning, but just so you are aware, never, ever, 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 touch the arrows until you both agree to do so. So shout out to him, you're the man. And then from there, you carry on the rest of your arrows, took around about, I'd say two hours, give or take, and it can take it out of you. Fatigue does hit in. But at the end of the day, on the screen right now, you see my score sheet. Out of 600 points, I've got 286. Not the best, you've got a few misses in there. 110 and everything else in between. Overall, thoroughly enjoyed the day. It was, like I say, bad in the sense of skill but a lot of learning in the last three or four arrows like i mentioned in the vlog my arrow rest did break it's my fault because i should be taking care of my kit or 
understand in my kit and now I know that I should be checking out all the nuts and bolts throughout the kind of day or the shots that I was taking and yeah I just heard this ping on the floor not realizing it was actually my arrow rest that had just broken so the last three or four I had to estimate what I would have got and truth be told we put a miss a five and a six I believe it was because realistically that was what I was hitting so overall 286 points out of 600 not bad for the first one not bad for the first one and that is it for my first ever competition vlog guys it was a great day i hope you enjoyed this video i will be going to more competitions throughout this year i will also be doing more practicing i need to practice and i need to focus my focus too now if you did like my video this is how my channel is going to be vloggy bloggy commentary if you did like this video click here to watch my last week's video about my first gym session click here to check out the equipment that i've bought and don't forget to subscribe there ciao